Good health to you, fellow Ukrainians. I was on a working trip all day, first to Mykolaiv, then to Odessa, meeting and negotiations with the Danish delegation, with Prime Minister Frederiksen, representatives of the coalition of parties, in particular with the Danish Minister of Defense and the Minister of Foreign Affairs. They are part of the delegation. We talked in great detail about Ukraine's defense needs, about what can help us liberate our territory, our south, our east, and about our needs in the context of rebuilding Ukraine. Mykolaiv is a city, the reconstruction of which Denmark has taken patronage over. There is a need for projects in the energy sector, infrastructure, social sphere and production. An especially sensitive issue for Mykolaiv is water purification and restoration of normal water supply, which was destroyed by the Russian occupiers. There is already a corresponding project with the participation of Denmark, the implementation of which has already begun. But more needs to be done to restore and modernize what is the basis of our people's lives. In Mykolaiv we visited a hospital, where our warriors are being saved after wounds. We thanked other doctors and nurses. We supported our defenders. The hospital is just one of those examples where modernization and reconstruction are critical. And I want to thank Denmark, personally Mrs. Prime Minister and other representatives of the Danish government for their willingness to help Ukraine, for the willingness to support until the full restoration of Ukraine's territorial integrity and until the complete reconstruction of everything necessary for life. This is the fundamental meaning of our cooperation with partners. Russian terror must lose everywhere and in everything, both on the battlefield and in the absence of ruins in our country, so that we can rebuild everything and thus prove that freedom is stronger. On January 30th, in Odessa, we spoke in detail about our security and humanitarian initiatives. Denmark, in particular, has supported our Black Sea Export Initiative and joined the Grain from Ukraine program. The fact that we have made substantial progress on food security proves that we can make progress on the other points of the peace formula as well. Today we discussed what exactly Denmark's participation in the implementation of the points of the peace formula could be. Of course, I thank Denmark for their defense support, for significantly strengthening our artillery, for their willingness to join the tank coalition. Today we discussed what else we can do to reinforce Ukrainian warriors. We are also coordinating our actions to strengthen sanctions against Russia. I have also called on Denmark to join our efforts to protect sports structures and the international Olympic movement from discrediting by the attempts of certain representatives of the sports bureaucracy to allow Russian athletes to participate in international competitions. Of course, I paid special attention to the internal situation in the Mykolaiv and Odessa regions, holding relevant meetings with the military and regional leadership. It is not only about security, although the security of our South is the first priority, but also about the social situation in the regions, about the economic opportunities available. By the way, I am grateful to all entrepreneurs and employers in Mykolaiv, Odessa, other cities and communities who, despite everything, keep keep jobs and pay salaries and taxes. This is your concrete and significant contribution to our country's ability to defend itself. Our task to endure is a common task. It is the task of the defense and security forces, our entire state, business and everyone who works for Ukraine's victory. I thank you everyone who is fighting for Ukraine. Thank you to everyone who is helping. Thank you to everyone who is defending Odessa, who is defending Mykolaiv, our entire south and all of Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine.